to get it started now. The kicker, Chris Boswell. And off we go from Tampa. Fielded just outside the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Always fun to get a peek at Tom Brady as he gets in place to command this offense for Tampa Bay. Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. A situation they'll certainly want to avoid going forward. An early second and long they're facing. Brady's throw taken in by Evans here. Short completion, just four yards. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Complete right side to Otten. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. They'll get eight, but they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive because that's not enough. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is set. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> he created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there. Checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. So here are the Steelers backed up to start their initial drive. And they will be led out by their 6-3 quarterback. That'll be caught at Steven Sims. And they'll get him down up past the 15. So a little breathing room now. First and 10 at the 17. They run the play fake. Here's Pickett. And a diving effort, but only right at the line of scrimmage. A good pick up there, a 22. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Pick it to throw on first down. Sliding out of the pocket. That's caught by Sims. The 20. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Steven Sims, Jr., 61 yards. And the Steelers are on the board first here on the road in Tampa. Extra point put through by Boswell. And it's now a 7-0 game. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This one fielded at the 5. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That, too. <laughs> and he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So a good run by Fournette. Now another first and 10. Now they'll run on the draw. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Brady now on first down. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sacked back at about the 43-yard line. Alex Highsmith from his outside linebacker spot, forcing the sack for a loss of eight. On second down, here's Fournette. And he'll get it down here to the 43. 42 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. The Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. Brady. He completes this to Russell Gage. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 
Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Inside handoff now to Fournette. And he's got it down to the 28. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Brady's throw complete there to Evans. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 18. Into the red zone, it's Brady. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Alex Highsmith. Now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. To try again after the sack. Brady under pressure, and they got to him again. There's your co-NFL record holder, T.J. Watt, doing what he does best, terrorizing quarterbacks. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Now Brady. And he's going to go down again. Cameron Hayward. That's now back-to-back -back sacks, and it brings up fourth down. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting. And now the rookie's free. Pass the 20. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Let's go. George Pickens. An 80 yard touchdown. And the Steelers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Boswell good with the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. 14 nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25 yard line. And Brady and the Buccaneers here, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's got Otten, and he'll be out right at the 35. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Up the gut, Fournette. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. It's a gain of 16, first down Tampa Bay. Throwing now is Brady. This one taken in by Otten. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. And yeah, they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 28. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Throwing on first down is Brady. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they'll get him down inside the red zone at the 14. It's also a gain of 14. First down. Again, they'll throw with Brady. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why. They look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. To throw once more on second and 10, Brady. And that'll be incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. 
Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Sutton. And the Steelers are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Partner, there's no other way you can describe it because that was absolutely just gut-wrenching for that offense. They were right on the precipice. Points were available. All they had to do was just fall forward, and they were going to put them up on the board. Instead, a long drive ends in heartbreak and a melancholy trip back to the drawing board. I like it when I go a little bit lyrical for you. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. So the previous play, a big help, as now they'll have it first and 10 up at the 20. Pick it now to throw off the play fake. They'll roll him out right. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. On second down, this is Harris. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. Seemed like they picked an excellent time there, Charles, to go with the draw play. They certainly did. Caught him a little over-eager trying to get into the backfield and get to the quarterback. They used their speed and their aggressiveness against them, didn't they? And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. A gain of eight there on the play, and they'll be left with second and a couple. Harris running straight ahead, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. The Bucks with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. Pick it back to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Now Pickett on fourth down. He'll buy some time right. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. First and ten, here's Pickett. He finds his man, Johnson. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because <laughs> Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. And a dangerous throw there on the drop-off. Incomplete, nearly intercepted. This is Harris on the draw. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. That's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. Good defensive call right there because they had someone shadowing him along his entire route, and he was right there ready to provide a hit that prevents him from making another catch to his big start. Going for it on fourth down. Here's Pickett rolling to his right. Here's Johnson with a reception, and he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. So after the fourth down conversion, now first and 10 inside the 25. Out to his left. Pickett lost it. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. There he goes, right side. He's at the 30. 10, 5, and he returns it to the end zone. A fumble recovery touchdown for the Bucs. Extra point up and good by Sucka, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. 
And not an abundance of time remains on the clock, Charles, but you would think more than enough to try to extend this lead before intermission. And when you're talking about extending the lead, I think you're talking about aiming for the end zone because there is plenty of time for that. The fallback is to get three. But in your mind, you put six on the board right before the half. That's a heck of a dagger and great momentum to carry into the locker room. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Pick it now on first down. Sliding out of the pocket. That's caught downfield by Pickens. He's got room at the 30. Down the right sideline. And he's going to get this down inside the five before he's out of bounds. A big play there just before halftime. 62 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's second and goal. Back to the eight-yard line now. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Looking to throw. Pickett flush to his right. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Steven Sims with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Steelers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point put through by Boswell, and it's now 21-7. to seven. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Blitz coming and down he goes. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. The final shot before half for Brady. Looking downfield for Jones. And got his man complete. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Extra point put through by Suckup, and that will take us to the end of the first half of play. Sorry, Coach. We'll catch up with you after the game. We're going to skip through halftime here and headed back to the field for the third quarter. So time for the second half as the Steelers have the lead, and they will also be receiving the football here to start the third quarter. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well and most importantly, partner, and they went into the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Off the play fake, here's Pickett. They'll roll him out right. Crossing route catch made by Johnson. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Pickett sets up play action. And he fires one incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. 
Now Pickett. A throw left side caught by the tight end flyer move. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Off play action. Pickett. He'll buy some time right. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. He broke that line of scrimmage and then let it fly, and that's an automatic flag. Yeah, and you know, you don't just lose the five yards there, but you lose it down as well. So he obviously needs that better awareness about what he's going to do. Either tuck it and go. That throw finds Pickens in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. A great play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Steelers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. And the Steelers are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Pickett leads the Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at their own 42. On first and 10, it's Pickett. Got an open man, it's Pickens. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And they're going to speed things up here. To the air on first down with Pickett. Rolling to his right. He's got this to Pickens. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Now he's hit on the return. It's a loose football. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. This offense returning out there, and really, you remember the last drive, Charles, it was over before it even began. They threw the interception on the very first play. And what that means is for all these guys, it's been a while since they've been out there going full speed, so they've got to get everyone back out there, run a couple of your go-to plays, make sure you get your offense oiled up a little bit. They've got to be able to start fast, but they've got to be efficient as well. Especially the quarterback. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he is going to get the first down as he covers up after a pretty good shot there. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Brady throwing complete here to Fournette. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. Here's a give to Fournette. Able to slither by. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Options galore here. Second and a few inches. Here's Brady to throw. Gets it out quick. It's Gage on the slam. And they'll be stopped right at the 30. On a play that started back at the 15, they pick up 15. So first and 10 now from the 30. Brady going to throw. Dancing to And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Montrevious Adams in there with pressure yet again. That is the seventh time that they have dropped him here this afternoon. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Brady gives this to White. And he'll go down at the 28. 
They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing is Brady on third down. He's got Otten on the out route. And he's going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. The second and 10 now as we roll along in the third quarter from Tampa. They go back to the ground now with Fournette. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Suckup's kick is good, and that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute, they want their opportunity, and he seized his. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Here's Pickett. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. I like his thought process and his ability to move and get downfield. But what I didn't like was the final decision, to go out of bounds. They want to keep the clock moving. Instead, they give the defense. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. And the Buccaneers are going to take possession of the football. So after the INT, it's Brady. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Play action, now it's Brady. And this will be caught downfield by Gage. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Russell Gage, 34 yards. And the Bucs have... ...get into the end zone as a two-point conversion is successful. And the lead is down to a field goal here in the fourth. Taken in at the three. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And they're going to be set up beautifully. A heck of a return down inside the 40-yard line. But whatever the relationship was between the special teams and the offense, it's gotten a heck of a lot closer after a return like that. The special teams just keep setting them up. The offense thinks they'll go out there and knock them down. Meanwhile, Pickett's throw complete there to Johnson. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Back to throw, pick it. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge. It's ruled incomplete. To throw again on second down. Pickett buying time to his left. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Logan Ryan. And the Bucs are right back in this football game. 
certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Brady going to try and throw on third down. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. For many people, that's not your standard play call in that third down situation. But for so many offenses, they just want the ball in the hands of their playmakers in open space. And after he caught it, he did a nice job picking up the first down. Fournette, a first down carry. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Cameron Hayward getting upfield to make the stop. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Brady now to throw. And he's going to have the hook up to Gage. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Here's Brady. Open man is Godwin. It's complete. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. To throw, it's Brady. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Now Brady again. Toward the sideline, and he locates Gage. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. On the draw, this is Fournette. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Brady's saying let's go as he'll hustle him to the line. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. To throw is Brady. And this one caught by Cameron Bray. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard strike. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to tie things up in the final minute. Suckup's kick is good. And that will tie this game here in the final minute of play. So a big kick to get this back to even. And now the worry is, did you leave too much time on the clock? Because another field goal the other way, that does you in. You're exactly right. You didn't get it to overtime yet. So now as a defense, you've got to think to yourself, yeah, yeah. you can't play prevent defense and just give up big chunks of yardage in front of you. But you also can't let anyone behind you. So you sit right on the line between the two, play the best defense you can, and not make it easy for them to move the ball downfield. He's got Johnson. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one goes for 24 yards. And, partner, they're locked in man coverage out left, and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. And that one complete downfield to Johnson. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Pickett to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. 
And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Here's Pickett. Rolling to his left. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Taking matters into his own hands, and he picks up four yards and a first down. That one checks all the boxes, doesn't it? You get the first down, check. Get out of bounds, stop the clock, check. Well, how about one last check? Keep your quarterback from getting hit. That's a big check. Yeah, check there as well. Good call. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. From the five, here's second and two. They hand this off to Harris. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Now they get the timeout. It leads you to wonder, will they kick it here or risk running another play and possibly not getting down in time? We'll see. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. Looking to throw here, pick it. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. Well, here's a classic second guess. I thought he had a better chance of a positive play if he just ran it himself. The coverage downfield was really good. That one. Now Pickett, polluting the pressure right. And this is going to be caught. It's caught, and they've won the football game. Well, we know the crowd is absolutely stunned by what we just saw there. Forget, I'm stunned. I have to believe that you are as well. When they finally get their legs back under them, they'll head to the exits, and I think they'll probably be muttering a few choice words along the way, too. How did that happen? I don't know. They certainly thought overtime was on the horizon, bracing for overtime. We were, too, and I don't, we, we may want to wait a little bit before <laughs> heading for the exits, let that parking lot clear out a bit. Maybe there's a later flight we can catch. That might be a good idea. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh Steelers and a little bit of a surprise they lose the turnover battle but wind up winning the ball game and this is very unusual because you know all teams stress winning the turnover battle as a key indicator to winning ball games so when you get something that goes against the grain like the one we saw here it's quite the oddity now let's face it they'll be very happy that they pulled this off but they do know that in the future they've got work on taking care of the football because this won't happen very often So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Tampa.